Alright, what is up everybody? This How I Humanize is going to be a little bit different. So, last time I did How I Humanized, it was really just sped up footage of me doing a speed paint, but this time, I think you guys can see the long process. So, I don't know if the video is capturing just the window I have open, or if I, it's allowing me to go from window to window, but... I, I figured I could just show you guys the images that I used to make this fill up right now that you're seeing. <clears throat> so, this is Philip Humanized. As you can see, instead of making it from scratch, like Rusty on digital, I made it on, I made it on my, uh, my paper. I drew it from paper. And <clears throat> you guys know the drill. I look up the engine on the wiki. I look up their bases, see what you know, what years they were built in. And I start, you know, looking at inspiration for the clothes, you know, and the hair. So most of the inspiration for Philip was easy because he his engine is an American basis. So it really was not that difficult to find a uh, any outfits for him that would fit. At first I was kind of nervous because, well, most outfits that these little boys be wearing in the 30s, like, as you can see, like, look, look at this shit, like, they're full on, like, grown ass men in these suits, bro, like, the ones that looked the most kiddish were these, so I gave Philip a... Uh, this one with the oh no with with these pants the Hawkmeyer pants and these slippers right here so now that you guys know the basis now you guys are gonna see me color him so coloring Philip isn't gonna be that hard so usually when I color the engines I take the colors straight from the bases. I kind of wanted to just humanize Philip because I don't know, nobody else was doing it. <laughs> like I've only seen one humanized Philip, and it's from a Japanese Twitter account. And I absolutely love the way he looks. Like, but I, I figured that I just wanted to, you know, try my hand at. Since, you know, that's the only Philip that I've seen. But, I mean, of course, people probably aren't going to humanize engines that they don't really care about. And Philip isn't really liked among the fandom. Because, you know, he's a kid. And, by and large, kid characters aren't very that... Aren't easy to get correct in media. Because you rather make them too annoying or too unrealistic. <laughs> No, because like, why are Philip's eyebrows done? Like, who did his eyebrows, bro? Like, there is like something going on with like the diesels that like, or with like some choice engines. Like, their eyebrows are so well done. Like, who is out here like hiring like whole ass like fucking makeup artists to do these fucking engines looks? It's hilarious. So I guess I should probably explain, like, why Philip for the second time. I know I already said it's, like, because no one else is doing it, but also just because, like, 
I have a lot of humanized engines, but I really haven't been humanizing the diesels as much as I should. Like, I have a diesel, and I have Diesel 10, and I have Mavis, and I have Daisy, but... You know, I don't have Philip, and I didn't have Rusty for the longest time, in fact. You guys already know, I made Rusty for that video, so it's like... Before that video, I didn't even have, like, a humanized Rusty, so, like... I guess I'm also making these videos just so I can finally make humanized engines that I've been putting off. And it's fun to show the process of me making them, too. I guess if it's a video about Philip, I might as well talk about his controversial character. <laughs> I find Philip to be obnoxious, but I don't hate him as much as the general public seems to. I don't know how much the general public hates Philip now, but I know that he is a character that a lot of people aren't really 100% on. Especially because you can tell they were trying to do a lot, giving him a lot of parallels with other characters, trying to give him a lot of, like, scenes and episodes with fan favorites that didn't really go over well, like, um, like, making Philip try and befriend Toby while it taught a good lesson. I don't remember, I don't think people like that episode. And I'm just saying that because I didn't like it, and, well, it's Philip, so I'm just going to assume other people didn't like it either. And, um, with the, what, Philip to the rescue? With James, I was like, what is even going on in this episode? Like, not only was that kind of unrealistic, which, I know, Thomas and Friends, when you're talking about unrealism, listen, I know. But even that was, like, a stretch. I was like, what the fuck? I'm so glad Edward roasted Philip at the end of that episode. I was getting sick of his ass. I was just getting sick of him. But... Overall, Philip's not, like, the worst. Like, he's- he's- at least he's no fucking, like, Lexi. <laughs> and, yeah, at least he's no Lexi. I will say, Philip's most obnoxious trait, it's like- is the fact that they tried to make him parallel to Thomas. They tried making Edward his fucking mentor or some shit, and they did nothing with that, by the way. So congratulations, Mattel. Wasted potential with uh, Philip possibly getting development because he has Edward to teach him. Although, I do think it is kind of whack. That if they were trying to go for so many parallels with Thomas, like with Philip as like a diesel version of Thomas being like young and show offy and always wanting to go fast, and they even had that one scene with um, how Philip's enthusiasm reminded Edward of how Thomas was once a little engine who wanted to see the world one day, like. Why couldn't they introduce, or like, have a Diesel character that could parallel Edward? Like, I know that Thomas and Friends ain't really about that, but like, maybe if Philip had like a another foil, it would have been less annoying. Like, uh, I mean, like, I don't, I don't, I don't see why Boko couldn't have been Philip's mentor. That would have been fun. That would have been a fun returnee character and put him in, like, a role for, like, Philip or some shit. And I know you're probably like, uh, the show is not about Philip, and, like, it would take stuff away from Edward if, um, Philip just got mentored by someone else. Well, they didn't even do shit with, like, Edward's mentorship of Philip, so, like, come the fuck on. Like, if you're not gonna do anything, then why waste the time? Why waste my fucking time? <laughs> like, just, just just bring Boko back. You'd make everyone happy bringing Boko back and having Philip get matured in that episode. Like, maybe 
what happens is that Philip is kind of, you know, stressing out. He needs help piloting Knapford. So then Sir Topham's like, oh, I know just the guy who was able to keep things in check whenever things were getting too awry. And then Boat goes back. Like, it, like that would have been, that would have been nice. That would have been nice, in my opinion. And uh, this morning during class, instead of doing my assignments, I did watch um, Evil Like Diesel. Because, like, I was doing, like, what, prior research to Philip before this, and I, uh, I found a page on Evil Like Diesel. So I figured, hey, why not? And Evil, with, Evil Like Diesel was a, f like, the Thomas fandom needs to do more musical <laughs> fan episodes. I understand it was probably hard though, especially considering the fucking- the audio quality! The way it would just jump between like line to line, I'm like, oh bestie, no! But like, the lyrics were good. And you can tell everyone was having fun singing, like, I, I see no problem with the fandom trying again. like. Make more musicals. I will do it myself if I have to. I will have my account, my tiny ass account, make a whole fucking Thomas the Tank Engine 11 minute musical if I fucking have to. Like, I don't care who I have to contact. Like, I know how to use beatbox. <laughs> I know how to make music. I think my favorite song from that video was probably, um,. What, where's the, what is it, it's either, it's where's the diesel works, or like, what's the diesel works, like, that one is definitely my favorite, I, but I think that's a, that's a, everyone's favorite from that one. Chase the fur and the, I don't really know how to pronounce it, I, I read it as fur and triloquist, like, like ventriloquist, but with an F, if that's not how you pronounce it, then that's my bad, but like, I think he's a legend. <laughs> Oh, I was so off. It, it's Chase the Feral, the Pharaoh Equinologist. I said Ventriloquist. I said Ventriloquist. I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> okay, Chase of uh, the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh Equinologist. Okay, so uh, yeah, Chase. Uh, he's iconic. Another song from um evil like diesel the fucking you know the entire time diesel was singing the song to philip about like how he wants to be like evil and rotten and rough and tough i was like fuck i know i've heard that fucking song before and then i saw the credits and it was fucking descendants and i was like bro i knew it i knew it was descendants because it's like i never watched Descendants, but I, I've listened to the soundtrack, because it's like, come on, it's fucking, uh, it's made by the same guy who did High School Musical, the music is gonna be iconic, and if not iconic, then at least earworm, like, ear catching, like, it's gonna catch you, girl. Like, I can't, I can't resist it, I know it's pretty much just industrial trash, but come on, I, I will gladly submit to being a victim of industrial trash. <laughs> That was also a favorite song of mine. Although, like, about Philip, never or like barely we're going to the Diesel Works. It's like, I find it so funny that Philip is considered a nice Diesel when he has been just as bitchy as the rest of the Diesels sometimes. Like, that's so funny. <laughs> Like, like, in The Great Race, he was so, like, bitchy to Ushima for no fucking reason, like, and it wasn't, like, directly, it was just, like, literally, all Thomas was talking about was how Ushima tried pushing him into the sea, like, I guess I could say that Philip was biased because of Thomas's bullshit, so I guess it's not necessarily Diesel behavior, but it's, like, <laughs> Bro, he was still like, I knew she was up to no good when, like, she, she quote-unquote caused Thomas to lose. Like, shut the fuck up, Philip. Like, 
he's like what happens when the writer thinks that writing an annoying kid character is the way to go like why can't we have more pearl phase in the world why can't we have more characters that kid characters that aren't annoying assholes like the cmc like the cutie mark crusaders from my little pony and yes i will continue to shill my little pony in my videos the more that y'all be, be shit talking my little pony in the all engines go videos the more the more that I'm just gonna keep talking about it, cause like I don't know, I don't know what y'all got against my my ponies, but like put that shit to a stop. Like I don't know if it's cause most of y'all are guys or something, but put that to a stop. I guess I should go back to talking about Philip. So Philip, my Philip, like if I'm complaining about him, how would I do it? Okay, so sometimes when I do do some creative writing with Philip. I actually have I my Philip actually lives in the Diesel Works and is actively influenced by them. But it's not like he's devious. He's just kinda like the diesel that no one really knows why he's there. He just hangs out there because he's lonely. Why weren't Forgive, forgive me if I'm wrong, because I still haven't finished all the CGI. I don't think I will. Just because, as of right now, I do not have the time. But, like, why weren't there, like, any episodes of, D of not Diesel, of Philip wanting to befriend a fellow Diesel? Like, we had that episode of him wanting to befriend Toby because he thought that Toby was a fellow Diesel Box cat, but like, we've never actually seen Philip try and befriend an actual Diesel. Literally, I would be okay if he, if like he was just vibing with like any of the Diesels and was like. I don't know about y'all, but I still don't consider Mavis to be in the nice Diesel territory just because her debut episode and the subsequent one where she, like, I don't know, almost get, like, has Toby fall off a fucking cliff is still very much in my mind. Like, like, no, she ain't nice. She can be just as rude as the rest of them. Like, please. But it's like, she, 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 she got character development. She got character development. But yeah, that, that, that's just my opinion, like. So yeah, I, f I feel like to make Philip a bit more interesting, we could have had him be have be friends with nice steamies, mean steamies like Thomas in that fucking great race. Uh, nice diesels and mean diesels, like. Could you imagine how funny, like, if, if the people were allowed to use Diesel 10 more, like, if they, like, actively interacted canonically, like, I would've laughed my ass off, like, it would've been funny. Thankfully, I am getting a lot more comments that are like, oh yeah, we like this. Like, I wasn't expecting my first How I Humanized to go down, like, as well as it did, because, like, as I said, this fandom's really not, like, for humanized, and, like, humanized engines have some sort of, like, they really have a, um, reputation. <laughs> I should say for being I'm just gonna say it horny and like d don't worry guys I'm, I'm not gonna go fucking horny for these fucking engines like especially off the kid coded ones like what you think I'm fucking crazy like but yeah they just have like a stereotype of not being written very well and it's like I didn't want to be on the fucking um line of fire but it's like I'm very glad that you guys actually really like these so that's why I made my second one on one of the most disliked characters in Sonic's history! Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. Ble bless all of you who continue to watch me.
Oh my god, he did ass me looking like a fucking. He's really looking like the man in the yellow hat right now. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and the tie's only gonna. gonna like cement that. Because <laughs> it's gonna be patterned like. It's gonna be patterned like this. Like the fucking lines. What a mess. Philip, you're such a mess. Alright, hello Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Ronald McDonald kid, Jesus Christ. Can't believe. Okay, so this is when we all learn that engine liveries do not work for everything. <laughs> Good thing I did not add any red, because then he'd really look like a clown. There we go, it's looking a bit better. And I, uh, I have the plaid down there, clearly.
both saturated and desaturated you for like a more vintage vibe but if i were to make his clothes more realistic like give it a more realistic tinge you know that really wouldn't be that difficult to do because in this era most outfit most if not all outfits how should i say this like they were devoid of any fucking form of color Like, this would be a realistic Philip in the, the tie. <laughs> oh, Lord. Like, yeah, if I, if I were going more realistic, Philip would look like this instead. And where's the red tie? And the, this red tie? Oh, what the hell? Oh. This red tie would still be red, but also. Or maybe the tie would stay the same. This could even, like, happen. I could probably go for the yellow tie in the, this version, actually. So yeah, if I was going for a more realistic look, like, for a realistic palette, this would be Philip. Okay, but what if I just took this See the difference? Well, I mean, of course you can see the difference because, like, the difference in shading, but, like, yeah, you can clearly tell. And here's the benefits of using just purple shading because, like, now the purple shading just looks fucking badass. If I were to choose my favorite fill up, this one is currently my favorite. So, yeah, I think I found my Phillips. Hello, um, post Apollo here. I have decided that my favorite Philip is this one that you're seeing on screen right now. You'll see that I didn't paint his um, pants green. Well, that's because I'd only ended up liking it after I stopped the recording, you know, like a dumbass. So um, this is my favorite um, Philip design. He has the green pants, like it's green on the bottom half, yellow on the top half. I wanted to incorporate more black, like give him a black shirt, but like that didn't really go over well, so the white shirt's just gonna have to do. And he has the black pants too. I think that signifies his moral ambiguity when it comes to diesel and steam engines, so yeah, we out here, bruh. The next humanized engine video should be on um, engines 1 through 12. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. Thomas, Edward, Henry, Gordon, James, Percy, Toby, Duck, Donald Douglas, and uh, Oliver, and Emily, and also Toad. Those should be the next humanizations. I explained that video might be, that might be a long video or a really short video. I really do not know. I could not tell you, but yeah, you know. Without further ado, stay tuned to the next video. <laughs> Thank y'all for waiting on me for this upload. And I shall see y'all later.